Right then, little Nissan Figaro, here we are. I've taken plenty of photographs for you. Inside, outside, upside, you name it, in the engine bay, in the boot area where the hood folds into. Obviously, they all concertina back down into the boot, as you know. Um, that's all uh, photographed and that in there. Very popular little car, aren't they? Little cheap, cheerful, cheap and cheerful convertible. Have a quick wander around and I'll have a show you inside. The usual Figaro bumpers, unfortunately, which I'm sure you'll be able to get now, won't you? You'll be able to get some aftermarket. They always suffer a bit with the rear wheel arches, don't they, and bumpers. And, uh, and yes. That wheel arch is okay, that's not so bad. I mean, the whole thing's all right, let's be fair. You know, it's a, it's a clean little thing. It's just to make it nice... I think you'd end up investing in uh, a couple of bumpers and perhaps a near side wheel arch. Inside glare's clean and tidy. What's it got on the clock? 128,000 kilometers, I assume. Look, I'm just, I'm just assuming that's kilometers. Guys, look, it's got kilometers wrote above it for the speed. I would assume that's gonna be kilometers for the mileometer as well. There you go. I assume they're all automatic. We've had quite a few of these in. I've never seen a manual version. So I assume it's automatic, unless it's gonna be like a special order maybe, I don't know. Unless they just make one size fits all. That would save a lot of arguing, wouldn't it? That's what you get. Like it or lump it. Anyhow, there you go. The little Figaro summer car.